Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Good morning, Anna. Where did you come from? You just appeared out of nowhere. Very nice. Glad you're with us this morning. Uh, so I need a volunteer this morning to wear this lovely backpack. Spike, there you go. Put on this backpack here. I know it's, it's no longer backpack season, right? Do you have a big one, though? Yes. You do? Okay, very good. So it's bigger than the one you have in your back right now, is that what you're saying? Yes. I thought it was a pretty big backpack. Apparently not. Okay. Because you put, what do you put in it during the school year? Uh, mm-hmm. 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 Lunch. Yes, lunch is the most important thing to have there. Some snacks, right? <laughs> Very good. Uh, however, today we're going to fill it up with some worries. So, because uh, we're talking about worries today. So what are some things people might be worried about or maybe you have worried about? Have a guess? Yeah. I don't need to complain and watch everything. Like somebody's watching you inside the room and they shouldn't be. Okay, that seems like a big one. So we're going to add that worry to Spike. So I need to stand up, Spike, otherwise the illustration won't quite work. Uh, yeah, very good. What well, might be a worry somebody might have, Anna? Hmm. Something's going to happen at school. Yeah, could be one. Yeah, we'll keep doing that. Yeah. What does worry do after a while, Anna? It gets too heavy. Gets too heavy? Yes, it weighs us down, doesn't it? We don't like it. Guess what I'm worried about this week? What? Got vacation Bible school coming, and we have 106 kids signed up. And a lot of them have peanut allergies, like significant nut allergies. And so if you guys could make sure not to bring nuts to vacation Bible school, that would really help me out, because I've been a little bit worried about that. So that's a pretty big one for me right now. Well, that's, yeah, there we go. That's a good one. Put that one in there. What's going to happen eventually, Spike, as we keep adding more and more worries? It's getting heavier. It's getting heavier and heavier. It's going to weigh it down, and that's not good, right? Do you want me to keep doing this? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, very good. Now, uh, God has answers for worry for us, things that will help us not to be weighed down. And it comes in Philippians. We're looking a little bit off text. We're looking at Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. It says this, do not worry about anything, which is our theme for today, don't worry, but pray and ask God for everything you need with thanks. So think about those worries that we might have. So you're worried about somebody looking at you in your room, right? So what might be something we could be thankful for about that worry? We could be thankful that we have a room, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. So uh, Spike, come on up here, walk this way. And uh, so it says, I find that one of the best things, I don't think it talks about one of the best things to do with worry is to pray about it and give that worry to God. And so, and to do it with thankfulness. So you can think about that worry and think think about what you might be thankful for. So, Spike, come here. So I feel like we should take some of those. Maybe maybe we'll take that worry. So we're thankful that we have a room. We're going to put that before the cross. And we're going to leave it there. Uh, So what were you worried about? Was it school? Something's going to happen at school. Yeah, something bad might happen. What can we be thankful for about that, though? Oh. Yeah, we know that God's watching over us, and he gave us a school, right? So both of those things. It makes three pounds lighter because that was the heaviest one, probably. It's true, it's true. Uh, let's see. Uh, so what could I be thankful for that we have 106 kids at Vacation Bible School this week? Probably that we have 106 kids at Vacation Bible School this week, don't you think? Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think, and what, did you have, what, did you have a worry? I'm trying to remember if you did, Spike. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, you might be worried that your backpack is too heavy. <laughs> you ever have that worry? Yes. Very good. Or there's no lunch in it? Uh, that could be a worry you'd have. Uh, but instead, yeah, we're thankful that we have a place to go to and responsibilities that we might have. That's a good thing, too. Uh, whatever you've got, you can bring it to Jesus and lay it at his feet, and he's going to take care of it better than we will. Yeah, why don't we just put the whole thing there? That's a good idea. Man, there you go. Where are you there? How do you feel now, Spike? Pretty good. Yeah, and that's what we can think about with all of our worries. I find that I feel the same way when I'm finally like, um, you should probably stop carrying that worry that you have with you and leave that at Jesus' feet, and then it won't bother you so much anymore because you know that God is working on it. He's a lot bigger, smarter, and has a lot more energy for these things than, than I do. So thank you for that illustration there, Spike. That's super helpful. Uh, and so, 
We're reminded that God is taking care of our worries. I mean, if he took care of all our wrongs on the cross, do you think he can take care of our worries too? Yeah, I think so. So why don't I pray about that? So, hold your hands. All right, and repeat after me. Dear God. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Help us to turn, us to turn. Our, worries our worries into prayers. Thank you for working harder. On our worries than we do. Help us to be grateful for that. And for you always. And all those people said, Amen. Amen. Thanks for coming forward, guys. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye.